Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This is part four of the Jigsaw um, joint tutorial definition. And to get started, I'm just going to go straight over to where the sliders are located, where our that depend that controls our evaluative lengths. And I also went in and reorganized our definition so it's so we can read it easier. So as you can see here, anything that's above 0.5 controls the definition. Anything below 0.5 controls the definition's arc or the joints. So if I move one of these two sliders down to below 0.5, it no longer looks like the joint that we want. So to create an expression out of this, I'm going to create grab the one variable expression and I'm going to type in 0.5 plus uh, open parentheses 0.2 multiplied by x. And you'll see why we need um, the x in a bit. And I'm going to copy and paste this and then change the positive to a negative and then commit changes go to um, grab a one variable expression I mean grab the number value button I'm going to change that to 1 and I'm going to put that into X so 1 will be 0.7 and that will be going to the lengths that are above 0.5 and the other one will be 0.3 and that will be going to the other buttons so 0.3 will go into the two middle ones and then 0.7 will go into the outer buttons of the value of length buttons and I'm just gonna move this all the way across and then what I can need to do is grab this curve and move it closer so I can work faster so just take my word if we flip this curve in Rhino or in Grasshopper the joint will flip so go to curve and grab the flip I'm gonna flip the curve I'm gonna unpreview this and then we need something so we can toggle between the two curves. So we can go to um, logic and grab the VB script. X will be on curve. Y will also be on curve. And then we we'll go to input manager and add in toggle as a variable. Click OK. And this will be a Boolean for on type, for a type hint. And then for output manager, I'm going to add in B double click on the VB script for my code I'm going to write an if and else statement so if toggle equals true then A equals X B equals 1 else if toggle equals false then A equals Y B equals negative 1 why do we need negative one instead of just positive one? It's because when we flip the curve, we also need to flip the evaluative um, numeric values to its inverse value, which is the negative of it. So hit OK. So the flip curve will go into Y, and then the curve will go into X. It spits out a number, which is negative one, because I think by default the toggle is on false. So put a toggle to it. Hover over B, it says negative one. We make this true now the value is 1 so we can input that into the expression that we created for the value of lengths and then what we need to do now is divide our curve into number segments so we have multiple joints so go to curve go to division and grab a divide curve and then I'm going to parameters and grab a number slider I'm going to edit this from flowing points to integers upper limit of 10 and the value be 2. So now we have two points and then we need to create lines from these points so I'm going to go to curve and grab the line. And Before we do this we need this point connecting which is the zero value and to 1 and then re recreating a line that goes from 1 to 2. So I need to go to logic and grab the list item. I also need 2 one will go into B, one will go into A, and the points will go into the list. And then I need a series. Copy and paste. This will go into I. And the values, which is C, will be the values of divisions. And the starting point for one will be one. So now if you hover over E here, it says, well, that's not good, but here, create a post it. So now you can see that it goes from 
it's not a great example here but here we connect the it goes from 0 1 and this one goes from 1 to 2 so when you when we create the the item it says from 0 to 1 and then 1 to 2 which gives us our lines from here you would assume that we can connect this line into the endpoints and then reconnect the curves to its respective areas but it's reading as in grasshopper it's reading it differently so we need to explode this curve into separate curves before we can do that so go to curve and go to analysis and grab the explode we're going to explode these lines into separate segments and I'm going to unpreview these And then from here, we're going to connect S into C with, from the endpoints, and then S into the value of lengths. And then I'm going to add in the intersection points. So now you can see that it created two, it created two uh, jigsaw joints. So if I go over here and I make this to three or four, that it changes. I'm also going to unpreview the divisions, and I'm also going to unpreview the VB script. So what if we script we flip it to false now? It flips it the other way. So we need to make sure that it works for everything. So I'm going to unpreview the inside, and I'm going to preview the the um, extrusion curve. It it was originally named the jigsaw joint. So if I zoom in here, everything looks fine. So now what if I bake it to multiple curves? What if I want this plank to have many joints? So I'm going to set I'm going to set multiple curves to three curves and then I come in and this happens. It doesn't give me the joints. So to fix this, I'm going to go all the way across to where the arcs are and I'm going to pick the shortest list and this gives me the joints so it works and then I'm going to zoom in and make sure it works and if I hover over C on the, the join here that sometimes uh, on my master definition of this uh, tutorial before I gave you guys tutorial the one that I originally created. I actually had to flatten C and join so I suggest you guys do the same so, so everything works. And from here we're good to go. We can add in more joints if we want. Control the radius of the joint. Control the distance of the joint and the, the offset um, curves if we want a smaller offset we can switch it out and from here we can also extrude these curves so we can boolean out the planks so we can fabricate them easier and that's how we create the jigsaw joint in grasshopper and thanks for watching if you guys have any questions feel free to comment us on our website or email one of us on the comment box or comment us on youtube thanks